Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Diaspora Radio and I am your host with the most. My name is Munya Sig. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Munya Sig, M-U-N-Y-A-S-I-G-G. And it's the same for Facebook and Twitter. And of course, the show is sponsored by Spell Clothing. Spell stands for Stay Positive, Enjoy Life. Y'all can follow them on Instagram too, S-B-E-L Clothing. And um, yeah, it is around 9 p.m. here in the United Kingdom. I don't know what time it is, wherever you are listening at, from, you know. (laughs) I hope I find y'all well. And of course, this is our first show for 2022. Man, we made it, y'all. We should be really grateful because a lot of people ain't make it. A lot of people ain't crossed over. R.I.P. to those we lost in 2021. Which reminds me, um, R.I.P. to the legendary actor, uh, Sidney Poitier. He died uh, days ago. Uh, I think it was on the 6th of uh, February, 2022. R.I.P. to the legend. He was the first black actor uh, to be nominated for an Oscar back in 1959. So, man, it was... um, Kind of sad to see him go. He was 97, but, you know, had a long life. Um, shout outs to that brother. He moved on to the ancestral realm. Anyway, y'all, today's topic is um, doing the best you can with what you have. We're going to keep it nice and short because I got a lot of things to do and I know some of y'all busy. So, you know, we're going to get straight to the point. So I was having a conversation with one of my homeboys last night. He basically just opened a chicken spot and um, he put all his money into it. So make a long story short, he's worried about a lot of things. For example, he's worried about the decor because I think at the moment the building has like a red interior, um, but he wants like a yellow and green um, decor. So he's really worried about what it looks right now and how it's going to you know, show to the customers when he opens. And he's worried about a delivery driver because he, he hasn't found one yet. And um, he was telling me that you know, where his building is located, uh, there's not like parking spaces near to the building. So he worried about what the customers are going to do and stuff like that. So I was just kind of telling him that he should stop worrying and just do the best he can with what's there until he's ready to uh, take care of the other issues. You know, that's what really made me want to talk about this because, you know, to make it a topic, because I think a lot of the times we stall our dreams waiting, you know, waiting on the stars to align. Sometimes you just got to make everything align yourself, you know, by proactively um, starting the journey, uh, the project or the process, you know, whether it's mentally, physically um, or even financially, you got to start with what you have and do the best with that. And then the rest will take care of itself as you go. Um, you know, I'm going to use myself as an example. So <laughs> I know some of the loyal customers and folks who've been subscribed to the channel uh, from the beginning. I'm sure y'all remember me. I was talking about this book that I was writing, you know, and I apologize because I know some of y'all must have gone tired of hearing me talking about it. Like, man, when is this book going to come out? He keep talking about it. Well, I'm happy to announce that the book is done, ladies and gentlemen, and it will be available for purchase on Amazon on february the 14th on valentine's day um it's, it's it's ready now but you know it being january you know people spend a lot of money uh the festivities i didn't want to bring it out in january because a lot of people ain't gonna have some money so i'm just kind of holding back you know making making sure everybody regroups and then we're gonna make sure that thing comes out on valentine's so you guys will be the first ones to get the link soon as it's available um and the reason I use that as an example is, is because I learned a lot about publishing, um, you know, during the entire process, which started in 2018, of course. It's 22, 2022 now, and I really don't, I can't say I grasped the entire process of selling or promoting a book. You know, I'm still learning as I go. So I say all that to say this, imagine if I'd waited, you know, to get all the information on how to write a book back then, you know, how to title a book, how to properly, you know, punctuate chapter in, you know, building the characters and their profiling, you know, how to pick a cover, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, and how to publish, you know, making a choice between self-publishing or using a company, uh, you know, and a lot of other stuff that, you, you know, that come with that. I'll probably still be in the process of planning right now. I, I really wouldn't have started. You know, what really helped me was using what I already had 
and, and doing the best with that. I already had a laptop, you know, and the subject matter in my head. So that's what I used. I just started writing what I had, you know, the storyline and it, and it started growing from there. I might have not had the whole story, but I knew where I was going with that. So I started just, you know, just, just typing it out every day, you know, little by little, as you can see, it took me a long time. Um, you know, and one of the last things that came out of that was the title. I didn't even know what the, you know, what the book was going to be called. I just started with what I had and I did the best of that, you know, word by word, you know, brick by brick. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So, um, and by the way, of course, the book, it's a fictional novel, by the way, and it's called Shadow Outlines. And I really can't wait for y'all to check it out, um, you know, when it comes out. So um, even when you... Um, when you look at some of the icons, you know, and some of the world leaders and superstars, depending on whoever you idolize, many of them just took what they had from the beginning and they made the best of, of, of what was there until something, you know, that was actually, actually like credible and of substance came out. I mean, one of the most life changing, uh, books that I read, um, for me, one of my favorites, something that comes to mind, I mean, right now, is the autobiography of Michael Max, which was written by Alex Haley. Also, for, for those who don't know, you know, Alex Haley um, is also the same guy who wrote um, the series Roots, the Roots series. Very good writer. Anyway, back to Malcolm. So from an early age, you know, we all know he was nickel and diamond. And we all know about the prison bid that he did. Uh, I think it was like a 10 year bid for, for robberies or something like that. Well, when you read his autobiography, you see that once in the prison system, after joining the nation, you know, he starts to learn how to read, you know, how to write by basically just making the best of what was there in prison, you know, and he ended up rising through the ranks to being a symbol of pride and reform thinking. But he basically started by him thinking in his mind he wanted to do better he was tired of the streets and he was in his place and had been from foster home to foster home since he was a kid but he just utilized what was there so really i want you to start taking those mental steps you know when you listen to this episode utilize what you have now to the best of your ability and i promise you something great will come out from it anyway y'all that's been today's show thank you very much for listening Go subscribe, you know, click the subscribe button, share it, comment, and we'll catch you on the next one. Okay, peace.